Showcase provides real-time pre-visualization directly inside Vectorworks Spotlight, allowing you the design freedom to explore near limitless options for lighting and scenic possibilities. The Start and Stop Showcase command under the Showcase menu dropdown allows you to enter and exit the Showcase shaded render mode. When you start Showcase, lighting and video screens that have been properly configured will respond to incoming data from lighting consoles, external video sources, and POSI StageNet controllers. Lighting devices simply need a GDTF or fixture mode assigned to them via the object info palette before exporting as an MVR to a console. Under the Spotlight Settings menu, you find the option for Showcase Preferences. Showcase is based on the shaded render mode which comes standard for model rendering. But Showcase has its own set of rendering settings, allowing you to fine-tune your previs for optimal results. The MX Data Provider allows you to select MANET3, ArtNet, and Streaming ACN as the incoming data stream from either a physical or virtual console. PSN Origin allows you to set the XYZ origin points of your external PSN control software. There are render options for hiding lighting geometry, enabling shadows, and controlling the ambient brightness. Adjusting these settings can speed up the performance. Lighting Options gives you the ability to set specific lighting rendering options like brightness, ambient occlusion, and environmental lighting. The rendered background can be changed, and background options allow you to enter the edit dialog for that selected background. Lit Fog enables fog in the rendering with the option to adjust its level of density. You can even adjust the level of density to below 1%. Shaded Options opens a dialog similar to Shaded Render Options, but this allows you to set your Showcase Shaded Options to their own levels, further enhancing your pre-visualization. For best results, you need to activate Exposure and Bloom under Camera Settings. Here's a glimpse of what we set our options to to achieve the shown results. While running Showcase, lenses glow by default and light beams are realistically truncated. If you have a gobo in a light, it appears on the face of the lens. The DMX recording palette has intuitive, easy to use controls similar to a media player. It allows you to play or pause, stop, loop, and rewind, but it also includes a few extra features. The palette can be found under the showcase menu. The play button serves a dual purpose as a pause button and is highlighted when it is in play mode. Under the DMX dropdown, there are three options. Console listens for the DMX data provider that you have assigned under Showcase Preferences. There is a section for any DMX recordings and snapshots currently in the active document. Manage DMX recording shows you all associated recordings and snapshots in your file, their duration, and the ability to rename them. Also, recordings can be imported into or exported out of your file if you are working with collaborators. If you select a DMX recording from the dropdown, your model launches into Showcase Shaded Mode paused at the first frame of your recording. Pressing Record while in console mode begins listening for the incoming DMX stream, and once Record is pressed again, the option to name your recording appears. The DMX Snapshot button records a single frame of DMX coming from the console and is saved in the same location as your DMX recordings. With Showcase, Video parametric objects can have video files associated with them. After pressing Edit Screen Image in the OIP, check Enable Previs Video and select the file. Once Showcase is started, the video begins to play and will loop. Be aware, the attached video must be sent along with the Vectorworks file if it is shared with others. NDI sources can also be associated with these objects by entering the name of the capture device and using the Select Video Source command in the Showcase menu. DMX transforms in PSN with objects in Showcase are handled by attaching an associated record format shown here to that object, and the data and the signal routing matches on the control software. It is worth noting that the panels in this file have a different texture on each side. Saved views also interact with Showcase in any incoming DMX streams in a similar fashion to DMX snapshot. The Save Render Mode and Save DMX options look for an active DMX recording or console stream to grab a portion of the information to create the saved view. If live DMX is coming into the file and you create a saved view with DMX, a DMX snapshot will also be created. Sheet Layer Viewports can be created from the Create Viewport command. If Showcase is active, then it is recognized as the active background render 
and under background render settings, you can see the associated DMX recording along with the ability to adjust the timeline if needed. You can make path animations while Showcase is active, but what is even more useful is using the create movie function in the OIP of the path animation. Then select Showcase as the rendering mode and under settings, select the DMX recording you want to render. And now with the help of Love Song by Mr. Vershawn, we want to show you a preview of how the amazing features of Showcase improve your previs workflow, helping you design without limits.